What up, YouTube? Sneed from Sneed Mobile Tech. And it looks like T-Mobile is completely rolling out its 600 megahertz spectrum that it purchased in the most recent auction here in 2017. So what this does is this basically confirms that T-Mobile was able to set its goals. And although they seemed a little bit lofty, they were actually able to meet those goals and they're able to roll out the new spectrum that it acquired earlier in the year. Now, it's not an actual full deployment. We're not going to be seeing 600 megahertz spectrum all over the U.S., but they are installing it or deploying it all over the U.S. in terms of places that really need it. So we're talking about rural America, uh, places where T-Mobile's service has been questionable and spotty. Basically, they're trying to become what Verizon has been, which is a full coverage carrier that covers all parts of the U.S. So when you look at the coverage map of T-Mobile, they're trying to plug in those huge gaps that they have in these huge expansive areas that are very isolated and away from uh, large cities. So this low band spectrum spectrum that they've acquired in the most recent auction is now actually bidding, getting put into play and um, they're doing all the testing and the implementation of it. So you've got some testing sites in Wyoming, they've got it going, it's active and T-Mobile actually is testing it on some devices. So uh, good job by T-Mobile. Quite impressive how fast they got this going. They made their purchase and they uh, took care of their investment and making their customers happy. Now, there are a couple issues with this, and I'm not saying this is bad by T-Mobile, but with T-Mobile being in such a rush to roll this out, it was really not to their advantage after all. Now, eventually they were going to have to roll it out, of course, why they buy it, but the key right now is that no devices support the 600 megahertz uh, spectrum, so it was, it was hoped that the Galaxy Note 8 was going to have the ability to do it. It does not. Uh, I'm hearing rumors that the LG V30 might, We'll have to wait and see, but not a lot of devices are going to have the ability to actually uh, take advantage of the available 600 megahertz spectrum. So we're going to have to wait until about 2018 devices to see it. So we're talking Samsung Galaxy S9 uh, and the new crop that comes out next year. So knowing that you know we weren't going to have devices that were capable of utilizing this new spectrum, there really was no rush to get it done in quarter three of 2017. They could have waited till quarter four or even quarter one of the upcoming year, or actually even quarter two, to be honest with you. There was no rush because devices don't look to be using it yet. Uh, but bravo, kudos to T-Mobile for taking care of it so quickly. It was impressive. And I just, I like the business model getting stuff done when they say they would. So Nice job, T-Mobile. Give them a thumbs up and a round of applause. It is quite impressive to see them rolling it out. At a time, especially when companies like AT&T and Verizon and Sprint are doing nothing to improve their networks or make their customers more satisfied and happy, seeing improvements and whatnot. So nice job by T-Mobile. I'm impressed, and I'm glad to see it happening. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, are you impressed by what T-Mobile's done with their fast rollout? Uh, and also another thing... Um, the second thing in the comment section, tell me if you think they kind of rushed it and they didn't have to. Those are kind of my ideas. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the video. Please give it a thumbs up and a share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.